Hey, it's Goose, and I've been asked by a few people to share what's in my sub six ounce first aid kit. And I should clarify that uh, it's a little bit more than a first aid kit. I call it my emergency kit. So uh, let's take a look at what we've got in this uh, kit. So here's the kit laid out, and it comes in three sections, and each section I put into a baggie um, so that I can just grab it out of that. So the first section is going to be my medications. So I'm carrying uh, antacid because I deal with heartburn a lot. Benadryl, um, not only for uh, um, allergies, but sometimes I have a hard time sleeping, so I take a Benadryl at night. Ibuprofen, I have arthritis in both my knees, and so that's hiker's candy for me. Although, um, on longer trips, I might just carry a leave because I need fewer tablets. And then, uh, these are my backup water pur purification tablets. Um, you may say, why am I carrying so many? And that's because a year ago, I was out hiking with a SteriPen, which crapped out on day two of a seven-day hike. And if I had not had these, I would have had to boil water the entire trip. So, uh... You can uh, see other videos of my rant on the SteriPens. And then uh, anti-diarrheal. Um, so those are my medications, and they go into one Ziploc baggie. Over here, I don't know that I would call this first aid, but it is my um, part of my emergency kit. I've got an extra boot lace, um, because if one of your shoelaces break, you, there's not a whole lot you can use as a substitute, so why not just carry that one? And I've also used this before when I needed a little extension on a... Uh, tie out for a tarp or uh, where you just need a piece of string it's right there available in this uh, little plastic tube I've wrapped leuco tape around it and the leuco tape serves for blister treatment and inside this tube I'm carrying nail clippers and I will say that if you were to get uh, um, Leatherman has a little multi-tool with scissors that I'm considering getting uh, instead of the tool I have with pliers and that would negate the need to carry that but that goes in there also I throw in there some safety pins so if I have a tear out on a um, backpack or something like that I can pin it up if it's really bad I have um, dental floss and I have a needle and so I could sew something up and also there's times where I really want dental floss so um, that's with uh, that all goes into there I used to carry duct tape now um, anymore I'm carrying tear aid it's lighter and doesn't uh, come off for anything and so this would be what I would use if I needed to repair my hammock uh, mid-trip or a tarp or anything like that so I just felt like the, the duct tape was pretty redundant when this does the job. Um, a little better, and it's a little lighter. And then these are uh, my homemade fire starter. My wife uses those uh, scented Scentsy wax tablets. And when you're done using them, when the scent's all out of them, you stick a cotton ball in it and uh, uh, soak it all up in order to put in a new scent. These things are great for starting a fire. I don't normally start a fire when I'm solo hiking, um, but I've got a couple of those, four of those, in case there uh, is an emergency. Over here, I have a ace bandage. Ace bandage would be nice for spraying, and then I could also use it uh, if I needed to make a splint with sticks. I can use the ace bandage. I've got a pair of gloves. Um, have enough first experience to know that uh, you shouldn't be messing with somebody else's blood, so a pair of uh, latex gloves are there. Then uh, I'm carrying uh, butterfly bandages um, in case you have a situation where something needs to be stitched up, stitched clothes, butterfly bandages. Just some regular band-aids band here, a gauze pad, and I'm not carrying tape because I've got the Luco tape over here to, uh, to tape that up. I've got some uh, sterile strips, carrying some cotton balls, or, or 
Q-tip swabs, and the reason I'm carrying those is I was in a situation one time where we were um, several hours from an, the next water source, and somebody got debris blown into their eye, and we really didn't want to have to use our water to uh, flush his eye out. And um, fortunately, somebody had a Q-tip, and we were able to clean out the eye enough to uh, um, uh, take care of the, the situation. The other thing that this is good for is my triple antibiotic. And so uh, triple antibiotic comes in uh, one-ounce tubes, which weigh two ounces, and there's no way you would ever need as much triple bionic antibiotic as comes in one of those tubes. So what I did was I bought a couple of contact lens cases for a buck fifty at Walmart and I cut them in half and then I've used them to put in my ointment. So this is triple antibiotic. The other half of this it has my toothpaste in it and that's with my toothbrush because uh, I don't need to carry a full tube of toothpaste. Uh, even the travel size ones are too much for a week hike so I, I um, use the other half for a tube of toothpaste and then I use a whole one with some desodent in it for uh, chafing and all that deal. So all of that goes into a really light mesh bag um, which won't even show up. I, I'm guessing that this is probably a gram. It won't show up on my postal scale. If I'm dealing with uh, really buggy conditions I switch over to my uh, bug net. Uh, bug head net. So I just stick everything in there and then stick that inside my backpack. And of course because I have everything stuck in its own baggies, if I need to use the head net, everything's still, uh, it's not just fall, falling free inside my pack. So that is my uh, lightweight first aid kit, emergency kit, which I think will take care of pretty much anything that you deal with. Um, in a short situation, obviously if I was going out into really remote areas for several days, um, I'd carry more of what's recommended in a world wilderness first aid um, responder class. But uh, for my uh, treks through southern Illinois and eventually on the Appalachian Trail, this is really all I need for setup. How could I mess that up? This was so simple.